G'day YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Um, today, oh, I'm trying to bring it forward. Today I've got a uh, nice, nice, quiet, nice, good quality juniper commonus. Very common juniper. I really dislike the foliage. However, it's a bit better than prostrata, I think, uh, or procumbens. It's less prickly, the touch. Um, this tree is, I don't, don't look at the foliage, but you've got to come in. I'll come in and show you the trunks and the beautiful movement in the trunks and so on. It's really quite nice and quite um, beautiful, this tree, in terms of those. It's got some fantastic movements in these trunks and, 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 and the trunk lines and potential for dead wood and shari. It looks awesome. Um, and that's probably what drew me to this tree quite a lot. Ultimately, I'm, I'm, even though I'll keep the foliage as it is at the moment, it's quite nice and soft. Uh, possible option of grafting shimpaku onto this um, so that's one possibility once um, I establish the look of the tree um, I've had a look at the tree um, there's probably just two fronts you got to see that you got to look at these two trunks I mean that's that's pretty much you've got to be able to view them and see them um, so it's either this side or totally opposite the other side as well both are interesting both have dead wood areas where we can work on and dead branches so it looks really good have lots of gin and shari on it um, but really what what is the shape I'm looking for I, I've tilted this tree different directions different ways which is important you need to move it around twist them around bend it um, you know the, the interesting thing is this little tree on the side here there's a little tree on the side here it goes in and then comes back this way uh, the coming back this way is a bit of an issue but yeah that's interesting this has got a nice movement trunk again both 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 nice both fused you can definitely feel the two trunks there are fused really well and I can't feel any movement at all one tree developed into two um, I'm, I'm kind of leaning to this side more because I tilted the tree I've tilted the tree this way and with lowering this side of the tree, lowering all this bit in this trunk into a cascade branch, a semi-cascade branch, sorry, um, and reducing and having some dead wood on this side and having a little apex in there somewhere, um, that's what I'm leaning towards at the moment. So really, in, like lots of possibilities. I'm just trying to, what are the best features of this tree? And it's definitely those nice twisty trunks, but we need to see them. Um, there's lots of foliage in the way that would, that is hiding them. If this had impacted your foliage, oh, the tree would be spectacular. So that's what I probably ultimately will do. I'll style the tree with this foliage, and then in the future, once the tree's recovered, look at getting shimpaku grafted into that. Um, be a challenge, but I think uh, yeah, ultimately this would be great with shimpaku foliage. But what am I looking for in terms of the look of this tree? I tried to stand it up more. I didn't really see any interest in standing it up. Um, tried different angles. Tried to go this way as well. Yeah, I couldn't, couldn't really see the best potential in there, but couldn't see the best tree. For me, the best tree was either to tilt that way. However, this, this side doesn't work as well as this side. I think there's more potential in building a tree into a semi-cascade going this way. With some some of these branches, we'll make deadwood. Um, lots, of, I reckon there'll be a lot of lot of deadwood features in this tree and shari. So that's probably what I'm thinking to do with this tree. Um, so yeah, I might might get cracking on this tree now and do some work. Um, possibly just eliminating the things that I don't want. Maybe do some some gin work and shari work of where the dead bits are, um, and then that's pretty much it. It'll take me a while. I won't have enough time this weekend to get all this done, and I might start to just. It'll be just eliminating things that I'm not going to use. So the things that you're looking for are pretty much think about long straight branches with only the foliage at the tips. Um, so maybe some. I saw some, for example, there's this branch here. I'll try and hide the other so you, I don't know if you can see but this branch is very long and it's only got a little bit of foliage at the tip so whilst this this will make a fantastic bit of dead wood and that's what we'll use it for you know trim these trim these 
guys off and use gin it and make it into a into a in gin. Maybe put some wire and bend that up a little bit more because I'm always into keen, keen on bend, not having straight lines as much as I can. So that's probably another another thing I'll do. So yeah, I'm just going to pretty much work through the tree. I want to. I want this. I I do see this tree as being this this angle. Semi cascade, two trunks, two nice trunks, semi cascade like that. Um, very cool. I think it'll be very interesting and unique. So yeah. Anyway, another tree, another project, another tree. So let's see how we develop this tree. Okay, just a quick update. Um, so what I've decided to do is I've actually I've ginned this. There's a branch here I've ginned. Um, and there was this very straight. Sorry. There's a very straight back branch that I've ginned as well. There's also this nice branch here that was dead, and I've started to just carve that, carve that slowly. See how we can incorporate that into the design. So this side, this side now is starting to look. Hmm, it's got some appeal there. Um, at the back, there's more, there's a bit of dead wood there as well, a bit more maybe. Um, but the whole tree goes that way, <laughs> which is the only problem. Um, I can try and tilt it and bend it over but this lacks the cascadeness that I need even with even with wiring it down so let's see if I can play them into the into the whole design and that's what I want to try and do is um, try and use those gins in the design so what I need to do now it still looks quite messy and crazy so what I now do is these branches are really long so really really long there's no point having these this long it's always going to be a short little tree here and by shortening these now i'll be able to see um, possibly how the tree will look what other branches i'm going to keep if there's long and leggy ones i've got to remove them um, but what it yeah by, re by reducing those the length so you can see if i block this section out that's that's the little tree in there as the, that's the tree that's going to form like the apex part um, of this this portion so a lot of it's going to be have to twist the background and sit in there with a bit of foliage this way and but the tree going that way so we'll see what we can do there haven't even looked at this side yet um, but I just want to try and eliminate the branches on this side that I don't need anymore so eliminate the branches I don't need um, and keep going with that method let's reduce some of that length so it's pretty straightforward see how strong see how long and leggy that is I'm never going to use the whole length so I'll just come back to maybe in one of those smaller nodes, smaller branches, go through, come back to a smaller shoot. So slowly we're working your way in, taking all the long ones out, you start to define a lot of the branching a bit better and you know which ones you're going to keep. So that's the point of doing that, is you go through it, cut all the branches that are too long, and then you start to really look at what's the what's the actual remaining branches you're going to keep. So that's the process I'm just working on this side of the tree for now. And then I'll move over to this side of the tree um, and do the same, same bit. It's going to be very rough, it's just pretty much eliminating the things I don't need. Again, I'm not really going to do a final styling, I don't think. Um, but it's going to have a rough idea of the shape, which is pretty important to have a rough idea of the shape. So I'm just going to go work through that, trim it off, and then, and then when I'm actually at to the final of, in terms of the branching, I'll come and show you what it looks like. All right. So what I've um, what I've discovered, I'll show you something that's happened, is I decided to hide this first this big section of the tree and just show you the little section of the tree there now what's been bothering me is all the direction seems to be going that way and it's going to be difficult if I swing it sorry I'll change the angle let me, let me change back so I was doing this and I go oh that's you guys can see now that's nice that's that's a nice tree on its own if you can see that that's a nice little tree on its own but it's such a waste to waste such a big nice branch on that side um so i was trying to think can i do can i do something with this and keep and keep i know the cascade will work the semi cascade will be really cool and funky and interesting 
But what's happened is what's happened is all the dead wood's hidden from this end. So because I did that, because I hit all this section and just saw this tree here, I turned the tree around, change the angle back to that way. Probably not as much, probably just a little subtle change. Now if I hit that again, there's the tree here, and I could create a secondary tree, so tree trunk, and I see all the dead wood. So dilemmas. <laughs> I thought I had original. I thought I had the design in my head about the cascade, and now I found a really nice twin trunk, um, twin trunk instead with lots of dead wood, and you can see it and it's exposed. So dilemmas, dilemmas. Which way do we go? It's going to be interesting. So I'm going to just keep working away, um, working away at the bits that I don't need, the, the bits that are leggy, etc., and hopefully it will come to me. But, you know, this makes sense. Uh, the tree, this tree is in all the right spots to have a little, little small, small tree here and a bigger tree here and the dead wood's all seen. But then on the other hand, on the other hand, you have something quite dynamic this way as well. You have something quite dynamic in a, in a small semi-cascade. But um, it's less convincing now, isn't it? Because the dead wood's all on the other side. Um, yes, I don't know. I'm a bit stuck at the moment. So let's just keep working through the problems and cleaning up the tree, cleaning up the length, um, and see. Maybe maybe it'll come to us which tree it will be. Maybe I'll just leave it. Maybe I'll go mm, undecided, and maybe I'll have another look at it in a week's time, and maybe three weeks' time, a month's time, two months' time. So you just don't know. But I'm going to keep working, cleaning it up. Ah, yes, the beauty of bonsai, always changing. As soon as you start to eliminate things, you find a better tree. Always look for the better tree. Okay, so, and use, use something to cover up sections, and that's why, that's how I discovered that. So I covered up this big area here. Where is it? I covered up this big area here to see that little tree in there. And it looked actually, that little tree looked better from this side. And because I actually, because I actually had it like that, I thought, wow, that could be a nice twin trunk. However, if it was twin trunk like this, that's the big tree over there. No, you've got to straighten it back to this way because the smaller tree is on this side and the bigger tree is in this way. So maybe I'm leaning towards now the twin trunk. Um, and these things happen. It's always changing. So, yeah. It's the beauty of... The creation I love creating I think that's the biggest kick out of all this is you create trees and create artistic pieces of work and something that appeals to you more than another thing yeah so this is starting to win my vote looks really be very interesting we'll stay quite a small tree here and a little tree in there I think that's probably gonna win much easier to create with less and less um, and actually more realistic because trying to try this 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 trunk here how it moves this direction on the other side we'd have to get, get that bank going the other way and doesn't really make sense whereas this that makes a bit more sense and you can see the nice nice movement the nice dead wood the nice dead wood nice movement probably is going to be the direction we go so i'm going to keep working away at this section play around clean up and then we'll come back and see where i'm up to okay everyone so i've gotten to a point where I have thinned out most of the foliage. Um, I've tilted the tree more forward as well. I do like this a lot more now, this twin trunk. It's lots of dead wood. There's actually quite a bit. There's quite a bit of dead wood on the trunk here. Quite a, this dead wood piece here, this piece here, that piece there. It should come up a lot better. Um, I have a nice big dead bit down the middle. Look really good. So some really some dead bit. Dead, bit, dead wood work up there as well. Um, so now I'm at a point where I don't know if I want to keep going with this because I've probably set the, the structure in the sense that this is what's going to happen. But um, as I said, I want to replace the foliage. So it's nice to know what the tree can look like. But I'm thinking well, maybe, maybe, it's, um, maybe we want to replace the foliage. So... The foliage isn't too bad. It's not like not as bad as some other ones, so I could live with it. 
but I think it's such a cool little tree that it would be great to grow shimpaku on this. So now that the bones are kind of set, I think it's 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 probably a good idea maybe to wait till summer. Um, so when I can do my grafts, I think. Um, but you never know. I might change my mind. I might keep working on it. <laughs> so. So yeah, I'm, I'm stuck at the moment, so I don't want to push it too much. Sometimes I just sit there and think about it. So now it's one of those moments where you sit there and think about it. You've got this little, beautiful little mint twin tree here, and you can see the other tree here. You probably see what I'm coming up with. I'll probably have to lean it a lot more forward eventually, so you can see that. Um, looks nice. I do have a very large back branch. I'll show you it. This very large branch. Uh, that's probably my only concern at the moment. Um, I might have to I'll probably just wire that and splay it out and, and fill this gap in here all the way around. That's the possibility. Yeah, it's pretty 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 easy. Like if I want to keep this now, it's just a wiring. Wire everything back down, back down. So you create a little, there's almost a little tree there. Or the apex is going to sit around in there. Twist this down further, sit around there. The back branch, I'd have to lower it and put it in place. Um, yeah, so let me think about it. I think maybe this could be the part one of this this tree, but at least now I have an idea what, what suits this tree, what looks best for this tree. Uh, I do like this look. So, whilst, you know, this I didn't finish the tree off. Um, that probably wasn't the plan. The plan was to at least set the structure. Now, I might go five minutes time, I might come back and go, oops, no, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna fully wire it out position it all and off we go but yeah at the moment this trunk is absolutely fantastic I love it if it was impact with foliage oh it'd be beautiful um, sometimes you just go sit there and think so that's where I'm at at the moment I'm sitting here having to think about this tree and whether I want to keep the foliage so let me have a quick think about it and I'll come back to you and we'll see where I've ended up being So hopefully I won't disappoint anyone, but I've decided that I want to graft the shipaku onto this, um, whilst the true the, the trunk's the best bit, uh, the foliage is never going to be what it what it should be. Um, so you can imagine what shipaku foliage looks like in this. This will be pretty phenomenal. So come in a few months' time when the weather warms up more, I will look at um, grafting the shipaku onto this. Um, yeah. That's, that's what I'm thinking and I might stick with that <laughs> but you never know in a couple of weeks as I said in a couple of weeks months time might look at it again and maybe the foliage has gone better I'm not sure um, and I could go with keeping this foliage and just keeping the tree with this foliage um, yeah so there you go so much so many times you need to make decisions but sometimes the decision is not to make a decision so now I've get, kept things open for myself now uh, I can use this foliage or I can graft shimpaku. So even if I restyled this all fully and then I decided to graft shimpaku, it was kind of wasting my time um, styling it. But most of most of this foliage is, you know, I've left it on in case I do want to um, use this foliage as the final tree. Anyway, I hope you can see the structure. I hope you can see what I, the thought process, how you can approach trees. Um, but there you go hope you guys enjoyed that video um if you if you have remember to subscribe and click the little bell icon see you next time maybe for part two of this tree see you guys